Hi, Mike. Can you look over here, please, Mike? Hey, it's your buddy Mike Messier here from the Messier moment, or is it with the Messier moment? Who knows? Before we uh, launch into a bunch of shtick with your buddy Mike Messier, I just want to get you the right mindset, and I want to heavily suggest as I scratch my ear a book, and I'm going to reach over to my actual bookshelf and my actual resonance and receive this book for you to look at. It's called uh, Zen and the Art of Making a Living. Lawrence G. Bolt. And why am I suggesting a book? Well, first of all, a lot of people don't read. And second of all, they should read a book once in a while. And uh, this book is very informative about how to get the right mindset. If you're going to be an, if you're going to be, if you are an artist of some kind, an actor or a filmmaker, I think it's good to have a nice mindset. A Zen mindset, if you would. Mindset, not maintain. So as I mumble early in the morning, 7.57 as I check the clock. And um, this book, you can literally flip open any page and discover a little uh, insight into the world. So I flipped open a page 166 just now, and the book says, I invent nothing, I rediscover. Rodin, who's a sculptor, you might know this one. Uh, the Rodin Museum in Philadelphia is quite nice if you ever go there. And here's another quote on page 252. The beater and the beaten, mere players of a game ephemeral as a dream by Muso Sozeski, which I don't, I'm sure I'm slaughtering both the quote and the name. Um, as you look up around my uh, little humble abode, you can see different nimnacks, uh, rimnacks, knickknacks of my life. You can see this... Um, it's very hard to, that's Barry Primus, as I just point to him. Uh, he was my acting coach, uh, a good guy. You can look him up on the internet and see that he did some nice things. And that's uh, Mario Van Peebles over there, if I can get my finger on the screen. And uh, Mario was a guy who I worked with. Uh, he was directing me, and I had a little uh, a role in the Hard Luck movie, and that was fun. So now I want to end this and just say once again, this is the Messier moment. It's just a, sh a mere moment because I want you to go out and get this book, Zen and the Art of Making a Living. I wouldn't sit here and waste either of our times to say get this book if I didn't really mean you should go out and get the book. Now sometimes people just, you say, hey, why don't you go out and get this book? And someone says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, a week later, two weeks later, or a year later, you say, hey, what did you think of that book? And they say, oh, yeah, you told me about that. Now, did they go out and get the fucking book? No, they did not. All they did was bullshit you and say, oh, yeah, yeah, but did they get the book? Did they get the movie? Did they get the um, audio CD or iPod or whatever you suggested? No, they just listened to you, and maybe 10 or 20 or 40 other people told them to do the same thing. And did they do that? No. So, kind audience, I'm merely suggesting, I'm telling you what to do, go out and get the book, Zen and the Art of Making a Living. Make it part of your ritualistic day to read the book, and then we come back and do another Messier moment, and I tell you other things to do. So that's it. Thanks to all those involved in the Messier moment, the insiders, um, industry insiders, and all that good schmaltz. And uh, that's it. So you're free to do the rest of your day. And on your travels, as you're not doing that, but as you're walking around uh, doing your schmaltz, go out and get the book, read it, enjoy it, and come back to me next time for the Messier moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, almost four minutes of me talking about a book. Wonderful. Can't even find the stop button on this thing. Whoa. Jesus. Stop. Hi, Mike. Can you look over here, please, Mike?